Hello, hello, and this is Notary Life with Kimmy. So hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can make $10,000 a month doing general notary work. You guys know I love me some general notary work. I do loan signings also, but I'm, today I'm talking about general notary work and how you really can make this money. This video is for the serious minded. You must get your pen and paper to get your notes. I'm getting right into it, okay? So first of all, let's talk about the pros of doing general notary work. There's no printing, no scanning, no ink, no toner, no paper, and you don't have to wait 30 plus days to get paid, right? Very good, so let's keep it moving. So what are some of the benefits of doing general notary work? You get paid on the spot. It's normally less than a 30 minute job at each transaction. Another pro to general notary work is the initial investment is very small. Usually it's just getting your commission and your supplies, your stamp, your journal, pens, clipboards, things like that. Under $100, normally you can start your general notary business. That's a big plus. You don't have to have all the extra training. You don't have to invest in scanners. You don't have to get a dual tray printer. So it's a lot of pros to general notary work, guys. Do not sleep on general notary. Also, where are we gonna market in order to make this $335 per day? Where? So marketing, you are gonna market to nursing homes, hospitals, jails, have a maximized Google My Business page, barbershops, hair salons, grocery stores, Panera Bread. As I stated before, you are going to be the go-to notary in your area. And if you do all of these tips, yes, you can make $335 per day or more. And I think that's kind of it. Pretty simple there, right? You get your money on the spot and it doesn't take as long. So let's keep it moving. So how do you make this money? I'm gonna give you a specific scenario. If you do two power of attorneys at $85, that's $170. Add in there one will at $85, add in there one I-9 form, $40, and one fingerprinting job, $50. And this is all on the low end. Okay, this is many factors that you have to take into account. If you do what I just told you, that's $335 per day at 30 days per month, okay? And that's, that's simple. It really is just that simple. So that, again, I'm gonna repeat. That's two power of attorneys at $170 for both, one wheel, $85, an I-9 form at $40, and a fingerprinting job at $40. Now again, in your area, you may be able to get even more than this. And that means you have to do less work. So our goal right now is $335 per day. So what factors did I take in consideration to come up with these numbers? I'm not just throwing numbers out. I factored in the number of people that are signing, how far I have to go, how many stamps I would have to do, what time of day it is, if it's evening, if it's weekend, if it's a holiday. So you would factor all those different things in. So I came up with a bare minimum number. So you might be able to get $150 for a power of attorney if you're driving to a metro city or a rural area. It just depends, there's so many factors. But the point is, let's focus today on general notary. To make $335 per day at 30 days in a month would give you $10,050. In order to achieve $335 per day, some of the services that you can include are power of attorney, wheels, I-9, fingerprinting, apostille or apostille, depending on the way you want to say it, wedding officiant, permit runner, remote online notary, and field inspection. That's a long list. So all of those different services will get you up to $335 per day. And again, some of these services you can charge more for or less for. Everything we're going to talk about today is state specific so make sure you check your state handbook and your rules to see what you can charge what services you can provide every state is different I must give that disclosure so let's talk real talk people in order to make three hundred and thirty five dollars per day you need a plan you need to be willing to travel to your metro cities to your rural areas Nobody's just gonna hand you $335 per day or $100,000 a year. You have to work for it. You must market yourself everywhere. Everyone needs to know you're a notary. So in my case, I'm in a suburb of Atlanta. If I really wanted to make this type of money, 
I would be willing to drive up to 50 miles one way. I would be willing to work seven days a week, open the clothes. Is you have to work in order to get the money. But is the money out there? Yes, people need a notary all day long. So let's keep going. So you need to make yourself available. You need to be willing to travel almost anywhere and everywhere, open seven days a week, holidays and weekends, and have a good car. That's just the reality. Some days you will meet that $335 threshold, other days you will not. So you have to factor in life. That means, is it raining too bad where you have to miss an appointment? Did the person cancel their appointment? Illness, death, things happen. But the point is that you can make the money with the plan. You have to have a plan. So you'll often hear me say, well, don't believe the hype. Don't fall into, oh, I made $10,000. And I still stand by that. But I want you to know that you can also make the same money doing general notary work. Do I make $10,000 a month? No, I do not. But it's by choice because I have an elderly mom. I have other circumstances. Everyone has different circumstances. But the point is with the plan, with correct marketing, with training on the different aspects of what you can do for general notary work, you can make the same amount of money doing general notary work that you can do in long signings. And that's my point. I love general notary work. And it shows. Every video I'm, I'm talking about something with general notary work. I do loan signings also. And I didn't even factor that in. So imagine if you added a loan modification package in there for $50. Or you did a loan signing or refi for $150. Or depending on where your state is, you did one refi for $200. Everything is going to be state specific. You must check your state to see what you can do because some states cannot charge a travel fee. So this video may not apply to you, but for the greater number of the 50 states, we can apply some of these pricings and get that money for general notary work. There may be an exception where you cannot make this type of money that I'm talking about in your state. And if so, that means you need to focus on something else. But for the rest of us who have a little leeway there where we can charge a travel fee, convenience fee, or whatever you want to call it, this money is possible for us. Everything doesn't apply. So for example, and I've already said this in many videos, the people in California, they might make more money doing ABC. Well, I'm not in California. I'm in an attorney state, so I cannot make the same money that they make. But can I make my money doing general notary work, doing wills and power of attorneys? Yes. So you cannot compare everybody's situation. You cannot compare. It's not apples to apples. It's usually apples to plums or apples to something else, but you cannot compare. So what I'm telling you today may apply in your state. It may not, but you just have to take in all the factors. I must give you a couple of the negatives about general notary work. And the, the two biggest ones that I can think of would be the traveling, because to get the money, you're normally going to have to be willing to travel, as I mentioned earlier probably 50 miles an hour, two hours. I got a phone call one time from a lady that wanted me to come two hours each way. So I, I, as you know, I'm outside of Atlanta. She wanted me to come up to Dalton, which is near the Chattanooga line, almost two hours away. So that would have been a four hour round trip. So I quoted her just travel time. Um, you know, I don't charge for stamps or whatever, but just for my time to drive to her because they were kind of desperate. She was a referral to me from another notary. I quoted her $350. And initially she was like, oh sure, I'll pay that because they were that desperate. And I kept saying to myself, you mean there's no other notary in the area? Well, in that area where she was, it was rather rural and she really could not find anyone. Now I didn't end up doing that job because I did try to price it so high because I really didn't want to go. However, if I would have really wanted to get my money that day and I needed to meet my quota of that $335, I could have charged her the $300 and she would have easily accepted that. And I could have met my quota and I could have driven two hours there and two hours back. So my point being is if you advertise everywhere and you really will go everywhere, you can make the money. You really can. But again, I didn't want to do that. So again, whatever I tell you is what the possibilities are. So don't just think of this as general notary work. If they want it done for free, they can go to their bank. If they want it done for three or four dollars, they can go to UPS. By the time they have to call you and me, it just became specialty because UPS doesn't want the liability 
or the bank doesn't want the conflict of interest. So again, don't treat your business like a side hustle and it won't treat you like one. And people are aware that when they have a service come to their home, a private anything, that is gonna cost more. If you have a specialized service, a mobile pet groomer, for example, that's gonna cost more for someone to come to your home to do your pet versus you taking the pet to the shop. Or a mobile mechanic is gonna cost more than you taking your car to the mechanic. So anytime you have anything specialized like that, people are expecting to pay a little bit more. So if you treat your business as a business and valuable, they also will. In order to make the $335 target that we talked about, you cannot just focus all on one item. It cannot be just all power of attorneys or all wheels or all anything. When my phone rings, I am able to accomplish I-9, power of attorney, wheels, fingerprinting. You need to be cross-trained in different areas. The, the list of nine different services that I provided you, you need to be cross-trained. When your phone rings, you need to be the go-to notary. I also offer printing services. I didn't even mention that. If someone calls because I do have the dual tray printer and all of that because of my loan signing um, equipment that I purchased, I can even offer printing. So sometimes you could be a printer or a courier. It is just so many things you can do as a general notary or specialty notary. So when I say you can make $335 a day, does it sound realistic to you based on everything I told you today? Yes. Thank you. So this has been Notary Life with Kimmy. I hope I have enlightened you about general notary work and the many, many possibilities that there are. Bye.